While opponents of the mosque at Ground Zero are promising not to give up their fight, despite the vote by the Landmarks Preservation Commission that paved the way for the project and evoked some strong emotions. It is the most horrible, horrible betrayal to do this to our 3,000 murdered American brothers and sisters and our brave policemen and firemen who courageously and willingly gave their lives to save innocents. Instead, what is happening? Islam is being glorified and lifted up. The American Center for Law and Justice plans to file a petition in New York Supreme Court today to try and stop developers from moving forward. Now, despite the strong opposition, supporters of the mosque and cultural center say this is a big step forward. We are joined this morning by Azim Khan from the Islamic Circle of North America. Thank you so much, Mr. Khan, for being here. You're welcome. Thanks um, for having me. Are you uh, affiliated at all with this mosque that's going to be built in, at Ground Zero? Not at all. Tell us a little bit about your organization. Sure. The Islamic Circle of North America is a national grassroots organization of American Muslims that focuses on outreach and education. What do you want people out there to know about this mosque that's going to be built two blocks away from Ground Zero? Because there's still lots of people who are against it. Right. Well, um, one of the facts that haven't come out is that uh, Masjid al-Farah, which is the mosque where Imam uh, Fasil Abdul Rauf has been serving as the imam for 25 years uh, actually exists in downtown Manhattan for the last 25 years now so it's not like they're an outside group that's come in after 9-11 to erect something it's actually a community that's been there for a while and that's why we see to have support from their interfaith partners I know but there are some people who have quoted uh, this imam uh, as saying contradictory things like you know for the funding everybody's concerned about where this right. money is coming from to build this mosque he tells the people here that it's going to come from Arab Americans and then when he's on foreign soil he says it's coming from uh, people there so I think that's what concerns people also some of his statements on 9-11 mm -hmm. uh, afterwards that you know you know maybe Americans you know had asked for it along those lines that's what concerns people as, as we um, have seen in the past few news cycles with the Shirley Sherrod incident, we have to be very careful about taking snippets of statements and not looking at the entire context. Uh, Imam Faisal of the Rof has written a book entitled What's Right with Islam is What's Right with America. Uh, it's published by Harper Collins. So if we really want to know where he stands, we, should, we just have to read his book rather than taking a few uh, talking points. Well, I guess everybody um, is wondering where the money is coming from. Do you have any idea? Have you heard about any fundraisers going on? Uh, no, but uh, as long as it's within legal means. And they have said that they're open to having their books reviewed by governmental agencies that are, serve as watchdogs for nonprofit funding. So if they're open to that, um, I think that's more than enough. Um, and also we have to be careful about not being institutionally biased uh, against one religious group. Uh, the same level of scrutiny that they're undergoing, it has to be the same that every other organization and religious group has to endure. Uh, just because that's what the Constitution says. Well, as you know, our mayor, uh, Bloomberg, has been very outspoken about the building of the mosque. In fact, he feels this is a, a celebration of uh, tolerance and um, for religious freedom. Let's listen to what he said yesterday. Let us not forget that Muslims were among those murdered on 9-11 and that our Muslim neighbors grieved with us as New Yorkers and as Americans. We would betray our values and play into our enemy's hands if we were to treat Muslims differently than anyone else. In fact, to cave to popular sentiment would be to hand a victory to the terrorists. But, you know, he doesn't have a groundswell around him. There are lots of people who are against this, including Rick Lazio, who's mm -hmm. running for governor of New York, and this is what he had to say. This is not about religion, okay? We have over 100 mosques in New York City. Uh, there's no reason why it needs to be 101 or 102 or 103. It's about this particular mosque called the Cordoba Mosque. It's about it being at Grand Zero. And it's about it being spearheaded by an imam who has associated himself radical Islamic causes and has made comments that should should chill every single American, frankly. 
why wouldn't they move this mosque somewhere else? I mean, there's so much real estate in New York City. Why just two blocks away from Ground Zero? Uh, like I said, they've been uh, within the area uh, 12, 12 blocks within uh, Ground Zero. So it's, it's their neighborhood. And that's really for their local community board to decide. And they have decided uh, in their favor. They've been there for 25 years. They're not outsiders. And that's the biggest problem that I see here. Nationally, we're seeing the rise of Islamophobia. And we have some people, individuals with bigoted views, which would like to deny our community's most basic, legitimate rights, such as building houses of worship. Our organization was e even criticized for having an event at, at Six Flags. So even a recreational day out becomes uh, a big issue when it comes to our community. So we feel that uh, Islamophobia is, is, is increasing dramatically in this country, in, in the state of Florida, in Gainesville. There's a church that's going to be holding an event where they'll be burning copies of the Holy Quran. So while that might be protected under freedom of speech, the underlying uh, feeling there or emotion that's being spread is hatred. And that's something that is permeated across, uh, and that, that can lead to illegal activity as well. Well, Such we thank, a hate crime. Right. We thank you so much, Azim Khan, for coming in today and giving us your perspective on things down downtown. You are with the Islamic Circle of North America. Thank you so much for You're being welcome. here. Thank you. Stay connected with MyFoxNY.com mobile. Download the iPhone app or text Fox 5 to 46988 for other devices. Local news, weather, and traffic on the go with MyFoxNY.com mobile.